Okay, so we have the Ultra Scoop Free self cleaning litter box, and we just took it out of the box. I took all the packaging off of the box and all the tape and things and plastic pieces that were on the box. And so the parts that we have are the base. This is the tray that lifts up, and the, that's where the, the solid waste goes. We have the lid here, and we have the litter tray. Now this is the disposable litter tray. So after um, one month or however long the directions say that you need to throw it away, you um, just get this, put the lid on it, and you put the whole thing in the trash. You don't have to touch the litter. You don't have to worry about anything else. You just put it all together. So the directions say to put the lid on the bottom of the tray here. I'm gonna set this to the side and we are going to install the um, collection tray first. So all you do is you take it and you put it on the on my rack. <laughs> you slide it into these little slots right here and then it just goes exactly like that and it was very simple and easy. This is my first time having it out of the box. I have not put it together yet and all I did was read the instructions so and then on the tray, you're supposed to write the dates, um, the first date of use, and then the estimated um, date. So for one cat, it's recommended replacement between 20 to 30 days. So I put 30 days out, which is the maximum number for one cat. Um, and so we, um, what you do is you pick this up, and you slide the tray under here to the back, and then you just push it up until you hear those magnets clip, clip together. So now the magnets of this paper tray are locked onto this um, scoop thing. So when the rake comes through, it opens up the scoop and all the solid waste goes under here where you can't see it. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got some dust allergies. Okay, so now I'm gonna install the hood on. We are going to wait to put the crystals on until we get it into the exact place we'd like it. So, you just line the hood up with the holes that are there, and that's all you have to do for the installation. Now all we have to do is plug it in and add the crystals and they'll be ready to go. So we'll do that in just a moment. Alright, we're here and we're ready to finish the setup. We have it in place of where we want it to be. This is exactly where the old litter box was. The old litter box is right here next to it. I have the cover turned around so you guys can't see the waste. Um, and we are going to get this started. Now, when we moved it, the rake did move out of position. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set the rake back. I did remove the hood so that you guys could see here better. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the crystals. So this is the bag of crystals. Each one of these disposable trays comes with a bag of crystals. So you just throw the whole thing away at the end of the month. You don't have to touch the waste. And the crystals are super absorbent and they get the smell out. So we don't have to smell the waste. Okay. So now I'm just going to add the crystals in. Crystals don't have as much dust as regular litter does as well, so that's also a, an advantage to this. And you don't have to worry about making it too even because the rake will take care of that. The rake evens out the litter. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in and it should automatically start according to the directions. So let me get the plug It's over here on this right side. So this is the front. So it's on the right side next to our uh, counter here. So I'm just going to plug it in. So it's going to automatically start. Hopefully. <laughs> it's already set to the 20 minute timer. Um, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and press this manual rake button here. It looks like when I plugged it in, all it did was set the um, rake back to the start position so 
we're going to press the manual rake and let it go. So it is evening out the litter quite nicely. And that's all there is to it. There's no more setup. Throw, throwing away the litter is going to be very simple. Every time the cat goes in the box, the um, timer will start um, 20 minutes after the cat has left so that it won't frighten him. So I'm going to um, film it one more time from the other angle so you can see how the rake goes into the box, the, the waste, put the solid waste away. One moment, and it's almost done. And this is actually quite fast for a um, automatic cap cleaning box, I think. Um, I did uh, notice some reviews online said that sometimes some of the waste can stick to the um, the rake, so that is why we are going to have it on the 20 minute setting, um, because hopefully that'll give the the crystals time to absorb um, the waste and the and dry out the waste a little bit, um, so that it won't stick to the rake as much. So now I'm gonna um, press the manual rake button one more time, so that you can actually see the inside here so the rake is starting like normal and you see how much more even the uh, the litter is here all right now you see that box starting to lift up this is where the solid waste goes everything's hidden from view so you don't see any of that waste in there and the rake deposits and then it comes back out and that's it and it goes back to the start position like normal so as you can see the rake is going back to the start position and our settings on here are 20 minutes and then there's a restart button which I assume you press that restart button after you change the litter tray and then there's two rakes because we hit the manual rake one time and then the manual rake button is on the far right and that's all it is to it let me put this lid back on snap it back into place easy peasy There's a, once you get it lined up on both sides, okay, and there you go. It's set up and it's ready for the cat. All right, thank you so much for watching and please give us a thumbs up or subscribe if you'd like to see more home tutorial videos. Thank you.